Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation a squared minus a cube is equal to 12. Our job is to find all possible values of a. So let's start by moving this 12 to the left hand side. So this will become a squared minus a cubed minus 12 is equal to 0. Next a squared minus a cubed minus this 12 can be written as 4 plus 8 is equal to 0. Next a squared minus a cubed this will become negative 4 minus 8 is equal to 0. Next a squared minus a cubed minus this 4 is same as 2 squared minus this 8 is same as 2 cubed is equal to 0. Now we combine these two terms a squared and negative 2 squared and we combine these two terms negative a cubed and negative 2 cubed. So this will become a squared minus 2 squared minus a cubed minus 2 cubed is equal to 0. Now we group these two terms a squared minus 2 squared and we group these two terms negative a cubed and negative 2. So this will become a squared minus 2 squared minus due to this negative sign this negative a cubed will become positive a cubed this negative 2 cubed will become plus 2 cubed is equal to 0. Now by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This a squared minus 2 squared will become a plus 2 times a minus 2 minus by using this algebraic identity a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. This a cubed plus 2 cubed will become a plus 2 times a squared minus 2 times a plus 2 squared or 4 is equal to 0. And this a plus 2 is a common factor. So we factor out this a plus 2. And in bracket left, in bracket left this a minus 2 minus a squared minus 2a plus 4. In bracket left a minus 2 minus a squared minus 2 times a plus 4 is equal to 0. Next, a plus 2 times a minus 2. Due to this negative sign, this a squared will become negative a squared. This negative 2a will become plus 2 times a. And this uh, plus 4 will become negative 4 is equal to 0. Next, a plus 2 times we write this negative a squared first negative a squared and this uh, plus a minus 2a will become plus uh, 3 times a and uh, negative 4 minus 2 will become negative 6 is equal to 0 and from here either this expression a plus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression negative a squared plus uh, 3 times a minus 6 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of a is equal to negative 2. And from this uh, quadratic equation we multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1. So negative 1 times negative a squared will become a squared negative 1 times 3a will become negative 3 times a 
negative 1 times negative 6 will become plus 6 is equal to 0 and according to quadratic formula a is equal to negative times the value of b is negative 3 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 3 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 6 divided by 2 times a is 1 a is equal to negative times negative 3 will become positive 3 plus or minus square root of this negative 3 squared will become 9 and negative 4 times 1 times 6 is negative 24 divided by this 2 times 1 will become 2 and a is equal to 3 plus minus square root of 9 minus uh, 24 will become negative 15 divided by 2. A is equal to 3 plus or minus. This square root of negative 15 can be written as a root negative 1 times root 15 divided by 2. Next, A is equal to 3 plus or minus this square root of negative 1 will become i times square root of 15 divided by 2. So from here we get two values of a. Second value of a is equal to 3 plus i times root 15 divided by 2. And the third value of a is equal to 3 minus i times root 15 divided by 2 and first we found the value of a1 is equal to negative 2 first value of a is equal to negative 2 so we have uh, three solutions of this equation negative 2 3 plus i times root 15 over 2 and uh, 3 minus i times root 15 over 2 